Hello and welcome to Pabli Chat Flow. So Pabli Chat Flow is a new feature by Pabli which helps you to send automated WhatsApp messages and also create chatbots for your business that too without knowing any programming or coding language. And in this section we are going to understand how to create templates inside Pabli Chat Flow. So templates are pre-made messages which helps you to reply quickly and also send automated WhatsApp messages. And in this video you are going to see how how the templates are created. To see the proper working of templates and know how it gets created, for that you have to come with me towards my screen. Hello and welcome to Pabli Chat Flow. So Pabli Chat Flow is a new platform in the house of Pabli, which will help you to manage all your WhatsApp conversations, whether it is sending or receiving WhatsApp messages, managing templates or contacts, or sending WhatsApp message broadcast campaigns. You can do that all using a single platform. Now, in this video, we will learn everything about the template section of Pabli Chatflow. Whether you are new to this platform or have never used it before, don't worry, I am going to guide you step by step in simple and easy terms. So by the end of this video, you will know how to create a new template, the rules for using templates, how to customize templates, how to add buttons and variables in your templates and every other details related to the template section of Pabli Chatflow. So let's get started. So first of all, to start with, let's learn how to access the template section. So once you will create your Pabli Chatflow account, once you will set up your account, you have to go towards the left side and here we have the option of template. Let's go towards the template list and here you will access all the templates which you have created. And here you're going to access all your templates. And before moving forward towards learning everything about templates, let, first of all, let us learn what exactly is template. So a template is a pre-approved message format that businesses can use to send messages to customers on WhatsApp. Templates allow you to send structured, professional and automated messages without needing approval every time. They are generally and mainly used for sending order confirmations, payment updates, payment reminders, appointment reminders, product feedback requests for sending support messages, inquiries, etc. Templates save time and ensure consistency in customer communication. So here you can see I have created a template. From this template section, you can create as well as you can manage all your templates at the same place. Here I have multiple templates as you can see, which I have created for different kind of requirements. Now from here, you can also check the status of your template, whether it is approved or whether it is pending. Also you can see that the template is created on which date and at what time. Here you can see the name of your template. Also you can check the type of your message in which format the message template is created. Here we have the category of the message and also the health. Now health of the template indicates how well a template is performing based on customer interactions. If users engage positively, the health remains green, that means it is high. But if your template is being reported or blocked by the users or by the receivers, then it can turn yellow, that means it is warning or also it can turn red, that is critical. Okay. Currently, you can see that my templates is high in condition that is it is healthy. Now here we have the three dots from where we can duplicate the template or also we can delete it. Now after this, let's learn how to create a template by our own. To create a template when you will go up, you have the option of add new template with a blue color. Let's click on this button and here it is going to take us towards new template section where we can create a template by our own. For that, I'm going to show you each and every step and each and every detail. First of all, to start with creating the template you have to select the category what is the category of your template here we have two options marketing and utility what is the difference between marketing and utility that i'm going to explain you so here marketing templates are used for promotional and advertisement purposes these messages aim to attract customers increase sales and promote products or services for example if you want to send product offers discount offers new product launches marketing messages such as festive or seasonal sales promotions special event announcements customer engagement campaigns etc then you can go for selecting marketing as your template category but utility templates are used for transactional and informational purposes these messages provide important updates or confirmations related to a user's activity so if you want to send order confirmation order updates payment reminders or appointment confirmation you want to send otps to your customers or users or account notifications then you can go for selecting utility as your template category 
All right, so this is the difference between marketing and utility type of template. Now, after understanding the template category, you will select it according to your requirement. Then you will move forward and you will select the template name. You have to give a specific name to your template and it is given in the instructions that only lowercase is allowed while giving the name of the template. So it is saying name can only be in lowercase, alphanumeric characters and underscores. Special characters and white spaces are not allowed. Example this. So you cannot give the name to your template by using white spaces. Also, you cannot use any kind of special characters such as add the rate or hashtags. If you want to use space in the template, you can only use it with the help of underscores. All right. And you have to give the entire name in lowercase only. Now, after that, you have to select the language. Then you will select the type of the template, whether the template which you are creating is for text messages, is for sending image, a video or a document. Then here we have the template header, template footer. Now, after understanding each and every step in brief, let us start creating a template. So now I'm going to show you each and every step also by creating a template over here. So first of all, let me select the category. Now here I'm taking a scenario. Let's suppose I am an owner of an e-commerce store. A customer has recently purchased something from my store. So they have received their order recently. And I want to ask for their feedback on the product which they have purchased. So here I'm creating a template for that. And for sending that message, I'm going to create a template over here, which will be in personalized format, which will contain the name of the customer, the details of their product, which they have purchased. And in order to collect the feedback from that customer, I'm also going to attach quick reply button over here. Now here, because this template is for taking the feedbacks, it is not for any promotional or for any marketing purpose, I'm going to use the category of the template as utility then we will provide a name to this template let's say the name of this template is product feedback as you can see I have entered the name in the lowercase and also I have used underscore in order to separate the names now let's move forward I'm going to select a language the language by using which I want to send this message so here I'm going to go for selecting English language now we have to select the template type so here in my case I'm going to select text as my template type but according to your requirements you can also select the image template type video template type or documents okay accordingly the template will be created whether you want to send an image along with a message a video or a document I want to send a text so here I'm going to select text message type now here we have template header so you can also enter a header line over here let's say thank you for shopping this is the heading of my message as you can see in the preview that we have the header line in bold so whatever you're going to give as header of the message it will be visible in bold in your message all right now we have the template format that means over here you have to enter the actual content of the message the body of the message okay it is saying that you can use all kind of text formatting over here you can bold you can do italics you can do strike through etc so now here i'm going to show you how you have to enter the body of your message so here i'm going to enter hello now here after hello i want to use the name of my customer and because I have multiple customers, multiple customers are regularly going to purchase products from my e-commerce store. So here I want to send the message in personalized format to each of them. That is the purpose of creating this template. And I am not going to sit and change the name again and again in the message. Therefore, here I want to make the name dynamic. To make the name or any other detail dynamic, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a variable over here. So here I want to make the name dynamic. Therefore, I'm going to enter variable in the place of the name. Here, this is my first variable. So here I have entered two curly braces, entered first, that is one, and then I have closed the brackets. So this has become my variable. And now in the place of variable here, it is asking us the sample value. What should be the value which you want over here in the place of the variable? I want the name of the customer. And here I'm going to provide the sample value for that name. Let's say this, smart user. So here we have the name. Okay, because I've used variable over here. So every time, according to every new person, every new customer, the name is automatically going to replace. Therefore, we use variables in the templates to make the data dynamics for whichever details which we want to get replaced every time automatically according to new responses. All right. So here in the similar manner, you can use as many variables as you want in your templates for creating customized and personalized templates. So now let's move forward. After this here, I want to enter so here I've entered, we hope you are enjoying your new and now here I want to use the product theme and I want to change the name every time according to the product which is being purchased by new customers. Again, here for that, I'm going to use variable for the product name and because this is my second variable, so I've entered two over here like this. Okay, so again, we have a variable over here. After this, I'm going to enter the rest of my content. 
We would love to hear your feedback. Please rate your experience with the product by selecting an option below. Your feedback helps us improve. Now, this is my entire content. Hello, the name will appear over here. We hope you are enjoying your new, the product name will appear over here. We'd love to hear your feedback like this. Now, here I'm going to provide the sample value and because it is the product name, so let's say the sample product name is wireless headphone. All right, after this, now here we have template footer. You can also use footer line over here. So I'm going to once again go back towards my template format section. I'm going to enter thanks and regards. And now here in the footer, I'm going to use the name of my company or my e-commerce store, Team Pabli. All right. So here, this is my entire message. In the preview, you can see that we have an entire message created over here. Thank you for shopping. This is the header line in bold. Hello, we have the sample name. We hope you're enjoying your new wireless headphones. Here we have the product name that is sample. We'd love to hear your feedback. Please rate your experience with the product by selecting an option below. Your feedback helps us improve. Thanks and regards team Pabli. So we have the footer as well. Now, I'm going to show you that how you can use interactive actions as well. So we have two interactive actions, quick replies and all. You can use up till three quick replies button over here. I want to collect the feedback. So I'm going to provide three options to my customers. Here first will be loved it. Now I'm going to add two more. It's okay. And the third one is for needs improvement. Okay. So here I have three quick replies button. According to the preferences and their experience, customers can select their feedbacks and they can directly reply us by clicking on this button like this. Whether if they loved it, they will click on loved it. If they want to say that needs improvement, they will click on this last button needs improvement. Like this, the quick replies button work. Now, over here, we also have another option that is for all. If you're selecting all as an interactive action, then here we have the option of sending multiple quick replies at the same time. So you can add multiple quick reply button over here, more than three. Okay, so you can see I've added all my quick reply buttons. And now after completing the entire template, we will simply click on submit. As we have done that, it is being sent for approval. You can see as we have submitted the template after completing it, it is being added in the list over here in the template list and the status of this template is approved as you can see. So when you will complete a template, it will be sent for approval towards Meta. Once it will be approved by Meta, you will be able to see the status of your template as approved and then you will be able to use it for sending your messages. And now here you can see that the category of my template because I have selected utility, so it is visible over here. All right, also the health of my template is high. Now, after you have learned how to create a template by yourself, you also have to know about the rules and guidelines of creating and managing the templates. So it is important for you all to understand that templates must follow WhatsApp guidelines. In case if you're using the category of your template as utility, then the template could not contain the promotional words or offers such as discount codes, coupon codes, etc. But in case if you are using marketing template, then you can use coupon codes, promotional offers, and then you can also attach coupon code in the template. Also, you have to keep in mind that the variables which you are using in your template must always be in two curly brackets like this and should be in the chronological order. Now, this is the utility category of the template. I'm also going to show you that how you can create a marketing one. For that, once again, I'm going to go towards add new template section. Here we'll select marketing as the category. Then we will select the name of the template. Let's say this time I'm sending a discount code to my customers. For that, let's say the name of my template will be discount offers. Let's say the language is English. Here again, I'm going to use a template type as text. Let's say the header will be happy birthday. Let's suppose I'm having a makeup studio and on the birthdays of my clients, I want to send special discount codes. And because I want to send discount codes for promoting my business, the category of my template is marketing. I've already selected that. And here I'm going to use the content as. So here I have entered the message. Happy birthday. I've used a variable for the name of the customer to make your day even more special. Divine Glamour Makeup Studio is gifting you an exclusive discount on your next beauty session. Copy the coupon code, claim your offer and book an appointment. Wishing you a glamorous year ahead. So here I have used two variables. First is for the name of the customer and second is for the percentage of the discount. So let's say the name is dummy user and let's say the percentage I'm going to provide is 40. Okay, 40%. Now I'm going to show you that how we can add interactive actions in marketing template. So here I'm going to go towards all section and you can also add coupon code because it is marketing template. You can also send coupon code to your customers. 
so here i'm going to enter the coupon code as birthday 40 so i have entered the coupon code as a button over here as soon as the person is going to click on this button the, the coupon code birthday 40 is going to be copied and then they can claim it directly by using it on my website and book an appointment all right so here in this way you can create marketing templates as well now once you have learned how to create a customized template easily we'll go towards the explore template section over here you have predefined templates as you can see image template video template and text template you can use the templates from here as well or otherwise you can create the template by your own as i have shown you now after understanding and learning the entire process of creating and managing the templates i'm going to show you actually how the message is being sent by using the template so here as my template is approved which i have created for collecting the feedbacks i've also inserted quick replies button over here i'm going to use this template for sending a message to my customer and then i will show you that how customer is going to receive the message along with quick replies so you can see that in this way, the message is going to be sent to the customer. Thank you for shopping. You can see that we have the heading in bold. Hello, smart user. We hope you're enjoying your new wireless earplugs. We would love to hear your feedback. Please rate your experience with the product by selecting an option below. Your feedback helps us improve. Thanks and regards, team Pabli. So when a customer is going to, let's say, click on this button, loved it, a reply is going to be sent. And when you're using Pabli chat flow, you can manage the replies as well, which you're receiving from your customers so here we'll go towards inbox section and here you can see that the message was sent we have the status of the message as well and you can see that we have also received the reply so this means our template is ready and it is ready to be used for sending messages to multiple customers and that too fully in the personalized format after this over here you can also see all the approved templates if you have any pending templates you can see it from here also we have the option of draft and rejected now if you want to check for the latest approved templates quickly you can just click on the send templates button and it will be over here so in this way you can create multiple templates for different requirements for collecting product feedback sending welcome messages to your leads or customers sending the messages to your leads for their inquiries also you can set notifications on your whatsapp as alerts whenever you're receiving new orders or new leads on your business and in this way you can use the template section for multiple requirements of your business and that's it. I hope you have now learned how to create, customize and use templates in Pabli Chat Flow. Templates are really a powerful feature that can save time and ensure consistency in your messages, which is going to definitely improve the productivity of your business, boost sales and growth. So I hope this video was clear to you. It is helpful for your business. Thank you for watching.